Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing, watching everything that you guys do. Never cause a notice. Hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. We go by Fanny and Jesse. Just feel free to say hi and we'll say hi back or suggest something there actually and we'll look into it. Find our vlogging channel Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we actually put out. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link and I'll be more than glad to react to it. I'm sorry if we haven't uh, reacted to something that you've suggested. It's just that I personally was busy with school and Jesse is busy with work. And it's just been a crazy, crazy, crazy period. So if you haven't reacted to something that is suggested, just um, suggest it again and we'll look into it. I really hope you guys are doing all right. So today I'm going to be reacting to this video. Christian Priest says Jesus was transgender. Just the title itself is giving me um, a headache. I normally don't give commentary at the beginning of my videos, but guys 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 you can't say you believe in god and then go on to disrespect god in such a manner you know i feel like it's disrespect especially if you believe in god i believe um it's um it's it's just not right what are we trying to achieve by saying such a thing if the transgender people want a god there's no problem with that if the gay people want a god there's no problem with that if the lesbians want a god there's no problem with that just like some feminists are going to argue that god is female you know there's nothing wrong with that but then if for many many years you believe that God has no uh, gender or God is referred to as he which doesn't hold that much weight what are we doing guys what are we doing and I don't think a Christian or a Muslim can say such a thing I highly doubt they can say that at least not from the areas where we come from but from countries where anything is going anything is right I see where this can come from you know so yeah, like I said, today I'm going to be re reacting to Christian priest says Jesus was trans. So when a Christian priest saying Jesus was transgender, let's dive right into the video, see what they're talking about. It's quite short, so I'm sure we'll get through soon. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Um, yeah, so if we think of Jesus as um, the one who reveals God, uh, I was really struck by Angela saying earlier that God is queer. And uh, I, I think as humans we have a tendency to construct God in our own image rather than to recognize that we are made in the image of God and therefore the dominant expression of humanity ends up writing itself onto God and making that God. Uh, and I think in, in the story of Jesus, the stories of Jesus' life, we, we find that being broken down um, in, in some quite radical ways, which is then having the knock-on effect of altering the way we understand who God is in relation to humanity. So I think Jesus um, transgenders himself on a number of occasions. Um, I, I think, you know, just, just a little phrase where Jesus is lamenting over Jerusalem, longing to gather Jerusalem as a mother hen gathers her chicks. Um, I think if you look at um, the foot washing from John's Gospel, foot washing elsewhere in both Old and New Testament, that it's consistently done by, by women. And yet Jesus takes that on. People often cast that as being the servant's role. It was the woman's role. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Jesus does it and becomes the woman at that point. Um, and I think, you know, we've observed that, you know, he's unmarried, he's childless, he defies gender and sexual norms of his day. He's known for associating with those whose own sexual history or gender identity may be ambiguous. So I think in Jesus, we've got a revelation of God as encompassing far more than what historically and recently at least, um, Christians have tended to construct God as being. And I think there's a bit of an antidote to uh, heteronormative idolatry in, in the story of Jesus. Absolutely. What to say about this? Because where is 
the priest going with this point to say he's transgender because he did something he carried out a woman's duty do you understand and uh, what does transgender even mean in this context does it mean changing your sexuality what exactly does it mean it's one thing to be lesbian it's one thing to be gay but transgender um would need more information or at least to watch an extended video of this like i said especially coming from a priest i'm actually disappointed very very disappointed what in the bible is it saying um or jesus um was you know transgender how at what point what's making you think or feel like this person should have been this way like i said i feel like this is disrespectful that's why i love how muslims don't uh, just speak for the sake of speaking they don't just they've stayed true to their religion from the way it was and going with it now others may quote outdated others may quote whatever it is that anyone can want to quote but then they're sticking by what they've read and they're going with you never find muslims sitting down and saying god was transgender or this was this it would be very very much insane and and um quite controversial even this in itself is con controversial I understand many religions are going to come up but then construct a god that suits that religion you know you don't have to try to turn anyone or give him a different perspective this is why christianity is now or christians are now confused you don't know what's what you don't there's just too much that's being allowed into christianity that it's losing its purpose and once something starts to lose its purpose it dies out and people are still wondering why islam is the fastest growing re religion no it's because of um you want to adapt or adopt new things that never existed before and um you really can't deny people to be what they want to be if they want to be gay let them be gay if they want to be transgender let them be transgender but then to, to say this in this day and age i'm sure there are people that are going to go with it i'm sure they're trying to welcome transgender people which is fine but to go as far as saying jesus was transgender guys if you really really feared um the prophets of god if you really really feared god himself i don't think you'd be putting words in in god you know you wouldn't say something that god hasn't said and as a priest i feel like you have to be more careful and tread in a diplomatic manner that doesn't show that you're picking this side over this side just be the neutral peace make someone feel at home but don't pick sides this seems like i don't know i really really don't know like it's doing the most just to spread propaganda i don't know i really really don't know i maybe to watch the full video would give more context as to where this conversation was going otherwise um i always say don't throw away your culture to seem more up to date with today's world otherwise you lose yourself let me know what you guys actually think about this video if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below just give me the name or the link and i'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video